And that is how you hold a Wii Remote. Eee! Hello everyone, and welcome to another random gameplay video. This is Wario Land Shake It, and I will press the two button like no one has ever pressed the two button before, and start a new game file. I'd like to give you a little taste of the game by showing you the intro, as well as some of the gameplay. I'll probably just do the first stage. I've never 100% of this game before. Never ever, because this game... If you try to 100% it, you will probably pull your hair out. <laughs> it's got quite a high difficulty level if you attempt to do so, but not all that high if you just want to play through the game. This game is definitely worth a playthrough, that is for sure. Definitely worth a buy. Bottomless coin sack, what is this? Thank you for answering my question. <laughs> So yeah, this is a coin sack that can apparently give you unlimited cash, well, pocket change, which is cash in the Mario world, and, we're, and uh, I would think that a sack like that would completely and utterly destroy the Mushroom Kingdom economy. <laughs> There's probably only one of them in the world as a result, and he's got it, so he can buy pretty much anything that he wants, including the ladies. Maybe that's how he got her. <laughs> Nah, probably not. It looks like he kidnapped her of sorts, a la Bowser style. So who are these guys? Well, I guess we will find out soon enough. By the way, the animation. Very, very nice, I have to say. I'm a big animation fan, so I'm always looking for um, really nice looking stuff. Well, so to speak. <laughs> nice looking and, you know, that has substance as well. Graphics do not equal the substance of said thing. <laughs> Whatever it is, games, media, stuff like that, you get what I'm saying. I'm getting all caught up in my words, but hey, that just happens. This is a PK Gam video after all. So let's just move on past my fumbles, and let's watch Wario get wooed by a piece of paper. <laughs> I don't, I'm not even sure if he knows it's a girl that's wooing him at the moment. Don't break it, it's an antique! No! Oh, oh good. <laughs> Whew! That could have been a disaster to that poor antique. Oh, my cranium! Who must I save? Oh, and the Shake King is the uh, evil guy that kidnapped her, by the way. And Wario. Why are you doing that? That's unsanitary. <laughs> well, at least he's wearing a glove. Although he's kind of reusing that glove, and that doesn't seem like a rubber glove. It seems more like a cotton one, and those aren't really sanitary all that. Then again, you know, Wario's kind of a sticky guy in general. <laughs> you know, I wonder if I should start speaking in grunts and groans like the typical Nintendo characters do. I don't know if that would work exactly though. What I said there was you can really transport yourself to another world through a telescope? Did you get that from my grunts and groans? No? Well, okay, maybe it's not that good of an idea without subtitles then. <laughs> So I guess I'll just lay off <laughs> Wario. So I guess I'll just lay off of that and flop right into the telescope. Good old Wario shaking his booty. And also getting stretched through the fabric of time and space. Perhaps maybe he's a very squishy guy. Well he does seem kinda squishy. <laughs> Not sure about cuddleable. I mean cuddly though, I mean this is still Wario we're talking about, and he's probably pretty smelly. <laughs> Why, thank you! I mean, rawr, rawr, rawr. okay, I'm gonna stop. <laughs> oh, see, Wario said thank you. <laughs> Didn't know that. I haven't played this game in a very, very, very long time, because I kind of gave up after a while of trying to 100% this sucker. <laughs> I'm sure I could 100% it eventually, if I were to keep trying at it. I could 100% pro probably anything if I kept trying, but it's how much tolerance I have to try is the thing. <laughs> it's like, you know how Yoshi's Island on the SNES was a rather easy game to just get through, but if you dare to 100% it, 
you would be destroyed utterly. <laughs> yeah, same concept here. So it's, a, it's another one of those games that are like, there's two different levels to it. You either play through the game in a simple fashion or you play through the game in an extremely difficult fashion. <laughs> and there's a lot of stuff in this game to collect, believe me. Handsome, what? <laughs> I think she's trying to butter me up here because, I mean, seriously, she's calling Wario handsome. Although I suppose beauty is in the eye of the beholder anyway. <laughs> As they say, all right, sure, what the heck, that sounds good to me, and this is the first level of the game of which I'm going to go through and then end off the video. Uh, she's asking Wario not to hog all the treasure for himself. Um, she's kind of asking the wrong person, although she doesn't know Wario that well just yet. <laughs> oh, but I'm sure she will eventually. Oh, and that's a little gimmick of this game I forgot about, is that if you don't make it to the end of the stage after getting the treasure, you have... Uh, if you don't get the treasure and then escape the stage fast enough, uh, you, will, you will fail and have to restart it, but it is lenient enough in most cases that you don't have to worry about it. Although, there are some uh, things that aren't, that's the thing, but, but not if you're just playing through the game normally, as I was saying. and. I just realized these are animated wooden sideboard uh, signboards. How do you animate wood? Maybe this is special high tech wood or something like that. I don't know. I probably shouldn't question the game logic and just press down to enter pipes. Oh, and if you didn't realize, two button was jump. And you can also press one to dash into enemies. And going up a pipe is simply jumping at it and pressing up. And. Awesome! Now I can add syrup to my waffles, pancakes, and whatever else syrup is good for. Uh, I already taught that, didn't I? <laughs> oh, a nice thing about this graphical style is that you can tell the foreground and the background apart by how muted the colors are. Like, you see how bold the black lines and colors are fr from this mast as opposed to the background colors? Yeah, like that. Really like the graphical style of this game too, by the way, but I, as I say, graphics do not make the game, the gameplay does, and this game definitely shines in that regard. Uh, press one button and then two button to do a dash jump. This is very handy for getting more distance in your jumps. Um, shake things like so by shaking the Wii Remote, and that is the gimmick of this game of Wario Land. Shake it is that you shake stuff up to get the booty within. Oops, I didn't mean to overshake. <laughs> You can also shake to obviously do a slam thingy like that, but you also gotta watch that meter up there. And just climb, well, crawl underneath things just by walking into them. Hold the one button, tilt, throw by releasing the one button. Very simple, very classic for platforming. Or, well, side scrolling. This is definitely a very, very classic style of game. This is definitely an old school gamer's game. Six week old curry? You call that a treasure? <laughs> well, I guess again, it, it is in the eye of the beholder. <laughs> uh, or maybe it's just been in that chest for a while. Now I got an achievement, an Xbox achievement. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> uh, shake stuff to make things fall. Uh, you can also shake enemies to get stuff out of them. Like, oh, garlic is to recover your health. That's at the upper left corner there. I have, I can take five hits from enemies. <laughs> what do you got for me? What do you got for me? Garlic, huh? Oh, and if you hold the one button, you can throw pretty much anything in any direction. Boop, like that. And boop, it also works the opposite way for certain things. I believe gold enemies give you loads of pocket change. So, shake them up as if you see them, and if I kill, uh, yeah, I thought so. <laughs> Defeat the golden enemy for a achievement of sorts. Oh, ground pound by pressing down, but it doesn't work for certain blocks like this one. Boop. I'm just going to kill you for the fun of it. In this case, you have to jump off an edge and get some more heights, a la Super Mario Sunshine style in the final Bowser battle, and then I said... And then, just do a ground pop. What? Why, is, why isn't that working for me? <laughs> Does it... Uh, what? What is... You just press down in midair, right? Yeah, well what... 
Huh. I don't know why that wasn't working for you before. <laughs> well, whatever. Anyway, press down here and go into the, one of these. Come on, Mario. It's like a pipe, and you can use these to break things like crazy. As well as it's part of the aspect of 100%ing this game. Some of these running sequences, like you see here, are extremely difficult, and that's what makes you restart stages from the very beginning, and is what makes 100%ing this game difficult if you so dare uh, decide to try it. And sliding down things will help you break certain kinds of blocks, obviously. <laughs> Mm, like these over here. Woo! Like I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to do that normally because if I, if I were to do a charge like that, I would only be able to break the first one. Uh, fickle compass. I'm not sure if that you could call that a treasure as well. <laughs> I mean, I would think I would want a compass that would work, unless it just means like the compass has um, emotions or something like that, and it's fickle against something. I don't know. And that garlic recovers a lot of health. And here's one of those running sequences that I was telling you about that you have to... The problem with these running sequences is that you cannot touch the wall because if you touch the wall, you'll lose your run and you'll often have to restart a stage from the very beginning. And that really, really sucks. <laughs> and that's what frustrated me about 100%ing this game, is that you have very, very finicky moments like this where you have to be ultra precise. Well, that wasn't all that precise, but I, I think you can get what, I, what I'm understanding here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh no. I'm triggered the alarm system. Or at least I've freed a guy. Go, go, escape. He will help me out because he somehow knows the way around the ship. <laughs> yeah, follow wherever he's pointing with the arrow and you can collect. Oh, I got another achievement apparently. And I've escaped. Yeah, those red blocks basically are blockades for the final run. I mean, they they open up on your final run once the security system thing goes off. And we got a Sonic 1, like, ending screen here. <laughs> Woohoo! I've got a new record! That didn't exist to begin with because this was a brand new save file. <laughs> uh, I think I managed to 100% the stage. Yahoo! Yep. Because once you do, you unlock the background music for said stage. Music is very nice. Definitely like the music, so it's definitely worth doing. If you can manage to 100% this game, go for it. It's definitely going to give you a challenge. And that is all I think I am going... Wait, actually, what was that other thing that opened? Hmm. What's the sweet stuff thing? I don't know. It's been a while since i played this, as I said, so I don't remember everything. <laughs> I'll just check this out and then end off the video. Mm. Uh, oh, it's a shop. I see. Oh, I remember now. You have to buy your way into new areas of the game. And each, each area is more and more expensive. This led me to do a lot of coin grinding at points. Which also led me to go through other levels and, you know, re-explore them for coins as well as treasure. Stuff like that. Yeah, indeed. Anyway, that's all I think I'm going to do in this random gameplay. As I said, I just want to give you a little taste of the game in these random gameplay videos. Definitely worth a buy. These Wario games. I mean, oh, well, Wario Land, shake it. And Wario games in general. I'm getting caught up in my words again, just like the beginning. But eh, what else is new? I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video. Shake it, Wario. Oh, yeah. Shake it to the music. Ah!